Russia is sending a new Soyuz capsule to the International Space Station to replace the one that sprung a leak. I just wanted to give an update on what's going on with Soyuz MS-22, the Soyuz capsule attached to the International Space Station that sprung a coolant leak a few weeks ago. The Russian space agency Roscosmos has determined that the capsule isn't safe to bring the Russian cosmonauts and NASA astronaut Frank Rubio home. Roscosmos said in a briefing that the culprit for the leak was likely a micrometeoroid strike. So here's the plan. They're going to send another Soyuz capsule, MS-23, up to the ISS to replace MS-22. But the two cosmonauts and one astronaut's mission might get extended for as much as six months. That's because while Soyuz MS-23 is going to come up in autopilot mode, they have to wait for the replacement crew to arrive at the ISS before they can go home. That crew is now going to have to come on Soyuz MS-24 because Soyuz MS-23, which was their original spacecraft, is now being used for the existing ISS crew. In the meantime, NASA and Roscosmos are working together to make sure every crew member has a lifeboat in case an emergency requires evacuation of the ISS before Soyuz MS-23 gets there. When Soyuz MS-22, which is the leaky Soyuz, departs the ISS, it will be loaded up with experiments and other stuff that needs to return to Earth that aren't going to be affected by the higher temperatures within the capsule, so that Soyuz will not go to waste and it will not become space junk. 